<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Just got a little one to do today, so we're gonna pour this small house. Then we're gonna head over uh, probably an hour away from here. We got an epoxy garage coating we gotta finish up today. Looking good down there. So the mix we're using today is our 3500 PSI floor mix with microfiber and a high range water reducer today so we can have a really good loose flowable slump. A little rockier today. So these last few days the mixes have been a little bit rockier than normal. We've been having to fight that rock on the edge separation a little bit. We haven't had that in the past so we're talking with the batch guy and just trying to get him to tweak the mix a little bit. You can kind of see it there how it's separating. Hey Luke, you want that plastic right there? Thank you. Lock or unlock? Unlock. Oh, the concrete's a little bit rockier today than it was yesterday. Yesterday we didn't have to we didn't have to really work too hard to mag, but today I gotta try to mag get them rocks. See that right there? Really work to get the cream up in between all the rocks. Now we use high range water reducer a lot and we use the mid range a lot for just different slumps and we haven't found that that's been an issue with the separation. It's just for some reason I don't know if they're getting too many, too many rocks in the mixed in the bins with the with the sand or what. But it's it's uh, getting to kind of be a nuisance here lately. You see how flowable that high range water reducer makes that mix. That's something we ask them to add at the batch plant when they're batching out the concrete truck. So we pay a little bit extra for that per yard, but you can see how nice and easy it makes the pour go, makes pulling it around easy, it makes screening it easy, bowl floating it easy. So when you pour concrete every single day like we do, we just like those little added extras to, to help make our lives a little bit easier. Using that boot sometimes you gotta be careful if it goes too fast it'll go right up over it. Or if we move the boot too far that way, it tips that head so the concrete will come right up over it and cover somebody. You can see it's almost coming up over it now. Pull just a little bit of this high out. The hardest thing about this job is ba backing in the drivers and getting them to watch you in the mirror. <laughs> I feel a little bit right here. I didn't think. I don't think you're I can't hear you with We said the, the best thing about this job is you. She's right there.
Bucket. Cup or bucket? No. No? I don't know. Yeah, no, 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 no. I would say cup or bucket. Uh, you want Lowe's buckets or Home Depot? Oh my god. Yeah, the the same. The what do you think, Mike? <laughs> Mike, what do you think? I'm not thinking. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Everybody's putting in a way I'm busy. Bu a homeowner. A little bit. A little bit. A bucket. Okay. If I got it, I'll scoop it out over the wall. Let, let lover boy make the decision. Let lover boy. My doctor is telling me we need to be done. That or not? Break it. Well, you want to strike this and just pull both. Don't matter to me. Pick it right. You know, when Mike goes, you're going to have to stop making decisions on your own. That's thing, right? <laughs> Man, that's not confusing. I don't think it's me if I'm on this side. I'm going to put it You want to video it from the camera? Probably, yeah. Okay. How come we don't use the gas-powered one out here in the wide open? We don't get a picture of Why does it talk so You ask a lot of questions. <laughs> you don't need to learn, you said. You're done. Remember? Well, I'd like to know something before I leave. Hey, here's something you should know. You don't come to that. Got the MBW Street Demon going today. This is 28, 24, just a small house. Typically we'll do two or three of these in a day, but today after we get done this, we're gonna go, some of us are gonna stay here to finish and some of us will go do an epoxy coating. But today we're using the MBW Street Demon. See how easy that makes that piece of cake. Using MBW's new vibrating bullfold head today called the Bull Vibe. So today, how to operate this uses a Milwaukee battery, number one. So if you've got Milwaukee batteries, you just plug the battery right in there. And then this is the on button here, and this is turn this lever here for the vibration. Yeah. I'll just I'll put it on medium today since we're using a vibrating screed. But this head will fit on just about any bolt load. It's universal. So we'll give this a shot. It's also got, you can see on the other side, it's got a light on it too. So that's, that's kind of cool in dark undercover areas. So let's give this a shot. I'm gonna have a little beeper on it when you get close to things that beep. Okay, we run out of battery. Oh. You want another handle there? I don't care. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get him one. Actually, probably don't need one if he can reach that far. Oh, this is your way of getting out of both of them. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. That seemed to leave as big as mine. That's just the person using it. Does that light have high and low beam or just high beam? <laughs> just high beam. I like us charging all these batteries up. Mike <laughs> on stock in a lithium company. Is that from the same company as your Volvo? I do. Three? 
Yeah, same company. Same company as that hat you're wearing. Soon they're gonna make them so they go out on their own from that. Yeah, that'd be nice. Stay there with remote. remote control, yeah. Getting up in there, big low. Looks low over there on the left. We got enough so you can probably pull ahead, yep. Okay. We need a bucket, we'll come get it. You alright? No, it's not alright. We've been right here. Oh. I told you we would be here. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's my. The conveyor? Hey. <laughs> Somebody's drinking something this morning. Good job today, Brian. That a boy. You ain't gonna hog that hose all morning, are well, you? Well, did you hear me? If I wash down there, it's gonna run down there. Do we want that or do I want to go over there? I'll be over there. Okay, let's move that over there then. Can we rinse the boot first or no? Yeah, we can. You can rinse it and then if it flows down there, it's true. Put it right down here, that's okay. I'll be rid of it. All right. It ain't going to be much. No, just go ahead and dump Three it out. Three or four yards. Just four. You want that to rinse first? Yeah, I might get it back away from it. Seven thirty in the morning. Documenting everything. All done. Headed to another job. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.